Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller to your CEMU emulator which is a Wii U emulator and we'll be doing this on Mac so if you want to learn about it, learn about doing it on Windows, Linux, I'll have separate videos covering that. Let me know if there's a controller that I haven't covered and you want to see and I'll try my best to you know, cover those as well. So in terms of the Xbox controller there's a few things you've got to go over. So this is the Xbox Series X. All Xbox Series controllers or series, the one that comes with S and X, work fine. So you got one of them, this is, which is one of these, well, I bought it afterwards, but it, it is a series, you know, star controller. Then you're all good to go because he has Bluetooth built in. If you have an Xbox One controller, then he may or may not have Bluetooth. That's the thing. If you, if it came with like your Xbox One X, your Xbox One S, it has Bluetooth. If it was from, let's say, an original Xbox One, it may or may not and it's one of those things you're gonna have to you know figure out to see if he has bluetooth or not i'll provide a link in the description so you can determine if he has bluetooth and the other thing if you have a 360 controller you're out of luck because they have proprietary you know connection technology that's not regular bluetooth so you need one of these bluetooth enabled ones now that that's out of the way let's connect this up to do that go to the system preferences go to bluetooth Obviously, make sure it's turned on. And you need to put this into pairing mode. To do that, you keep the sync button, which is just at the top here next to the USB-C port, pressed. You just keep that pressed for a few seconds. And the light will start flashing. Xbox wireless controller will get detected momentarily. That's not it. And that's not it either. <laughs> Detecting literally everything other than what we want it to detect. There it, is, there it is, click connect, doesn't take that long, light's gone solid, it's now in the connected list, we're all good to go. So now we can close this down, we can open up CEMU, obviously make sure you set it up, I'll have a separate video covering that so feel free to check that out. And now go to options, input settings, and from here you want to select your controller, to do that, obviously you can choose to map to any type of any one of these controllers i recommend the wii u gamepad because that'll have the best compatibility go to plus go to api select sdl controller in controller select your controller click add automatically it does a great job of configuring it i just want to flip the a and b yep i prefer it in the xbox style instead of like the Instead of the Nintendo style. Other than that, everything else should be all good. So that's left shoulder, that's right shoulder. You just click on one and you're good to go. So let me show you that I'm actually doing it. So if I press that and I press down, it picks it up as down. Let's do left. And with these, you just move the analog stick. So if I was to move it down, there's the plus. If I was to move it up, it's up. And that's it. And for the blow mic, I'll put the share button. And that's it. We're all good to go. So you can save a profile, you know, per profile name, click save. The benefit of that is you might have a different configuration for a different game, different game type, or a different player. So those are some of the, you know, things that you can do. And in the settings, let's see if it supports rumble. It does. I can hear it. And you literally just I'll put it on max. That's fine. And you know you can have dead zone but that's for motion and which this does not support so obviously certain games you won't be able to play to spare that in mind you'll need some other type of input go off that and now we can launch up a game that's fine i find cemu on mac sometimes crashes for me just have to redo it a few times so it'll probably work now As you can see, it is now working. I'm just going to go to challenges just because I can easily get into the game without having to watch some long cutscene. As you can see, I was navigating the menu and as you can see, I can jump up and down now. So I'm going to play a bit of Mario. We're all done. That's the setup process done. I'm going to play until I die. If you lose one last long, historically speaking. Ooh. Yes, he got him. Oh, 
time's up. So you have to be quick with this or else forget. Okay, that's it. That's how you connect the a Xbox controller that has Bluetooth. Like I said, I'll provide a link in the description so you can determine if your Xbox One controller, which may or may not have Bluetooth, has it or not. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group, link in the description, or post in the comments. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.